he just pivots over my bike. So, <laughs> I think the majority of riders maybe will hit this hard. Mm -hmm. Not there. Stuck, right? stuck in that rock. So first off, that's about like they'll hit it, but they won't. They won't get into the power enough before the obstacle, so they just kind of hit it and spin right there. Now, in this situation, I would, I'm going to use the getting unstuck technique, but I'm looking here and I'm like, man, that's a little bit undercut. If my rear drops, it's going to run into this log, or I'm sorry, this rock. It's a little bit dug out here, right? So if I go forward, I'm thinking my, my swing arm, my rear brake, everything is going to run in to this rock. Drives Jordy. And kind of <laughs> impede <laughs> my movement, right? So instead, I'm going to go there. Ah, ha, ha. I have a better run in. It's a little simpler. I can yeah. get up on top. Now, the only hard part about this rock is there is that rock there. Mm hmm so if I go here, I have to work pretty hard to get it above that, right? Uh huh. So I would say, oh, I'm gonna just do both. I'm gonna set my my front here. I have a good run in. I'm gonna try to get my front up on top of that rock. Gotcha. Try to cut, cut some of the, uh, the workout for me. Here I am. I'm gonna do the same and getting unstuck technique. I'll probably jab here with my left foot or my right foot. Drive it and run it deep, putting my front tire up on top of that rock. Where am I? I'm on the foot. Then I work it over. Damn. And I'm in a way better position. Very little energy, like way better. Now, here's the other thing. Let's say... Majority riders are here now. The unstuck technique works here for sure. But you can see here it's a little off camber. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit like it wants to suck you down into the crack, which isn't bad as long as you get deep. So I'll show you the unstuck technique and then I'll pull it back and we'll do it a different way. It's a big step though. You can see my front tire is high. Yeah. It's a and big, you're already big, on a. It's a big disadvantage. Yeah. I have to work hard. Yeah. Get in front of the bike. From here, I have to deliver and collect very quickly. So hopefully, I'll crash it enough to get the bike. Again, I aim with the rear tire. If I aim with my front, I'll only get here. Right? I gotta get that thing uh. deep past where my front tire is. So I set up, lift back, drive hard, deliver hard, collect hard. Right there. Damn. Now. I mean, that's a big step for, for somebody that's first learning that. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. But I think a lot of guys would have to fight through this. Something I see riders do is they give it so much throttle in these situations. And it's really unnecessary. So I'm going to show you what I do if I have to push the bike. Okay. Find good footing. I slip forward until I'm on the rock pretty much. Okay? Now I'm gonna go into a clutch slip, but I'm never gonna release the clutch because you can see. Oops, if I release the clutch, the rear tire is gonna spin. So I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna go to that slip and then I'm gonna use my own muscle. Ah, I've seen it start to crawl up the, yeah. So the bike is taking away its own weight. I couldn't just push it up that with the bike off, mm -hmm. but I'm never giving it gas. And that's the thing I think a lot of guys do is they try to gas it through this stuff. But you saw there, like the bike actually kind of gripped. It worked. I put it into the slip. The same slip that you guys use when we're practicing, just rolling back and forth on an incline, right? We're holding that bike in one position. That takes weight off of the bike, and then we use our muscle 
to push forward kind of as our own little horsepower, right? Mm. So that push ends up being way more efficient and you end up not needing to spin and fight and use muscle to get up. I mean, if I hold it wide open and just push, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's just gonna spin. Spin more. You guys can hear it. It's like you ruin your whole day there wearing yourself out. Huh? You ruin your whole day wearing yourself out. Absolutely, <laughs> just pushing. Yeah. Dude, spin I've... and fight and gas and gas and gas and so many guys just use gas. They're just trying to get out of it. And it's hard to catch yourself at times, you know, myself included. Like I'll catch myself. God, let off a little, dude. Relax. Push the bike. Also, another thing too is like learning where to put your front tire while you're pushing. Like even right here, honestly, getting up that is easier than pushing right here. This is my front. That. The front tire goes into that and then it stops me. So if I was pushing in this situation, I would maybe feel my run in, roll back, and I try to get it up. So I do a quick snap. But it's just a little too gnarly. So I'm going to slip and I'm going to do a heavy push with my arms. Right? Yeah. Little things like that, like a lot of dudes will sit and push their bike and their front tire is literally up against something like that. Mm -hmm. It's like find the gap, find the area where you can kind of take it. If away you're going to do it, yeah. Some of that stuff to, to, to be able to at least somewhat efficiently get it. Yeah. Right? That's a fun little section. Yeah. You can see the thing about this is, is I, I, I can explain all this stuff and, and break down sections and we can work them if you want but you can see the thing that ends up being the most important is your fundamental approach mm -hmm. all of this stuff is dictated by your ability to find the friction zone quickly to be able to hold that bike in a slip even just turning around like where i turn around right there that would take most guys 15 minutes and I can just pick up the bike, spin it around, no big deal. Yeah, she's flexing. Yeah. 